Right, so moving on, considering they've released a new working title of the next Bond film, Shatterhand. Ooh. Ooh. Working title. What's so. happened to my hand? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of jokes and memes yeah. on that. Yeah. So we thought it would be a good time to you know, have a little discussion on you know, just Bond in general, you know, making new if you feature um, videos. So yeah. we're going to throw it out. Let's discuss you know, our favourite Bond movies. So we know we're going to have a few. So you know, we'll just talk amongst ourselves and just see what we think. So that's considering, the time considering you came here late, I'm gonna throw you on the spot. Yeah. Too late. The video's <laughs> just, just started. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, sorry. Absolutely. In the grand scheme. In the grand scheme of things. I didn't bring coffee. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will get you guys coffee after this. So Mo, um, we'll just name off a couple here. You know, some of your favorite Bond movies. The one that always, always is on my mind is Kissing the Royal. I think I've watched it ten times now. Do you want to soak it up? That 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 starting <laughs> sequence of. Um, you know, the chase with Parker, well, Bond is just... Just running through all things. things. <laughs> First meets with things, and it's such a... It, that, that movie sets the tone for what Bond should be for me. Not the Roger Moore films, not the ones before that. That's the one that's sets... Agatha, you can wait for your rebuttal. That's the one you that can sets wait. the tone for me. This is a court of law. I didn't care what Ian Fleming had in mind. <laughs> this is what Bond is to me. The modern Bond. You know what? Please go on. That's Share with me your medieval thoughts. It is one yeah. medieval. Yes. Forty years is medieval now. It is medieval. But before we medieval. move on, after Groovy, Casino Royale is probably one of my favorite films. Probably in the top five. Um, the whole renovation of this franchise was great. Daniel Craig was great in that mm. film, and I just love the whole theme of the film. It was just like the whole poker scene was intense. I love mm. that side. And uh, and I went to the uh, premiere in Leicester Square, so I kind of was a soft spot for the movie. <laughs> I saw that to sign my stuff. Oh, you know, so they they bought they bought me off, man. <laughs> yeah, so I was a soft spot because of that. But in general, one of my favorite films are probably. 20s, 20,000s? When did it come out? 20,000? 20,000s? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20,000s? Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> what year up, is it? It's definitely <laughs> up there, one of my best of the 2000s okay. in that decade, and it's a shame they didn't carry that forward, but that's another yeah, story. Yeah, it's a shame it went into Quantum of Solace. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then you see what the Quantum of Solace. What a way to just nosedive yeah, exactly. straight away. Skyfall did bring it back up there, and Spectre came back down, but... Yeah, yeah, that's a whole other discussion. Okay. So, go on, Eleni. Yeah, Eleni wants to get every bottle. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, I, have have a very <laughs> <laughs> I have a very different opinion. I grew up watching Bond, so like the, I think the, the very first one I watched is Goldeneye. Okay, and I don't hear it. Abs <laughs> like, I absolutely love it. It's, uh, it's, it's the one that I remember the most. It's the one I've probably watched the most. But then, like, after that, I was going back. Because we had all of them up until that point on VHS. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we had them all with the pictures they lined add, they up. Kept, they kept adding them on every year. Like, yeah, every... exactly. And, like, we all just, I loved it. And I, I love going back and watching some of the old ones and seeing the terrible effects on, like, explosions <laughs> and stuff. Because the budget's only, like, it was a, it was a, a mill... Oh, you mean before nine. the before the before the, before the 90s. Yeah. You're talking about... Yeah, old I'm old talking times, about, like, yeah. the proper no. old yeah. ones. Yeah. How old were you? <laughs> I didn't grow up watching nah, it no, as they came you out. No, I, I also watched Doctor No just out of curiosity, mm. just to see. I was so disappointed, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah, I thought I thought the I thought Sean Connery played a great doctor, uh, a great Bond. Yeah. I thought the overall film wasn't what really... It was essentially the pilot episode, though, isn't it? Of a 40-year franchise. Doctor No is so iconic with the whole mm. the, 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 like, white bikini when she comes out mm. of the ocean, she's singing, and all of the gadgets first start coming in. Um, it's not my favourite, it's definitely iconic. <laughs> Goldeneye is up there, but I would probably say my favourite would have to be Thunderball, just because of the underwater fight scenes. Is that the one of the Lotus that goes underwater? I can't remember. No, no. Um, this one is the one... I don't one... think I've actually watched this. It's got like there's um it's got Spectre in it obviously and it's got like <laughs> well, it's um, old Spectre new Spectre Nago, he's like number two and then he's yeah. got his mistress Domino and they've got like a um an island or like a like like Palmyra which is his he's the estate. Bad guy. This is the guy who wants to make um real so estate in the ocean the, or something. No, it's the guy with the eye patch and they uh. steal atomic bombs from. A, from oh, a I know which one. Yeah. And there's like a big fight scene yeah, underwater. Yeah, yeah. He's got like a little rebreather. I think I've seen that fight scene, mm. the one you're talking about. Yeah. But I haven't watched the film. <laughs> I, I, I know what you're talking about. You've seen the movie clip from um, the yeah, Exactly, like, that's what I'm saying. I, I love that scene, I love the sharks, I love the underwater scenes with Domino, like all the snorkeling and stuff. So, right. And then I was reading up about it before I came, and it took 141 million at the box office on a 9 million budget. Um, wow. And that's more than the first three films combined. That's like the Bloomhouse right. methodology, make it for 10 million, get 100 million back, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then I love, 
I love the, the, the old ones are like really cheesy. There's a lot of that's a like, charm to it, though. Isn't it's it? got it the is. charm. It's yeah. got those like funny little one-liners. Before and it's more, it's evil. more, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, evil, evil. Oh, evil! Because <laughs> I kill myself. <laughs> there's there's more of those like silly one-liners and. There's more of the espionage thing. I think there's more of a, a focus on that rather than the action. Because Bond is never supposed to be it's an action not, movie. It's not Jason Bourne. It's a spy movie. Yeah, yeah. It's espionage and um, and sexism. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> and I, I I love You Only Live Twice because ninjas. And the volcano. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> a ninja. You Only Live Twice. Yeah, that is typically. Absolutely love that movie. Ninjas invading the volcano. Yeah, I mean, and that then, is pretty much archetypal Bond. Ninjas. Yeah, yeah invading yeah. a volcano base. Yeah. <laughs> And I discussed it with my family earlier today as well because we obviously, me and yeah. my brothers and my dad, have watched all of them. This will be an intense debate. And yeah, but we all we all really like Tomorrow Never Dies. A lot of people don't, but we I love Michelle Yeoh as an actress. Wow. Uh, I think she's badass. And then like the Elliot Carver Media Company, it's it's an actual scary thought. It's like you know you know what I think the problem with that is that film came out too early. If that film came out now, the whole media angle, yeah, you could you could believe it. Back yeah. then, like the media, it's like they're, they're that making. Was the Delta one? No, 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 that was Pierce uh, Brosnan. Um, it came out after oh, Gold. Ah, Man. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember and um, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's one where they like make the news. Got it. Yeah, yeah. and it is a yeah. scary thought. Looking back on it, like, the wow, motivation this is, is yeah. so real. I just think that film case that if they made that the plot to a modern Bond film, you could yeah. totally believe that that media will control it all. I think that was the time when the internet was just coming out. Exactly. It was the same time when <laughs> the Truman Show came out, right? Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, Jim Carrey, Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey. Jimmy, <laughs> Jimmy Carrey. Jimmy Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you if you look back on the old Roger Moore Connery ones, I'd probably say You Only Live Twice up there. I love the Man with the Golden Gun, mm. Christopher mm. Lee as Scaramanga. Yeah. This is iconic. I just love the whole Golden Gun idea. As a kid, I was amazed. Like, Whoa, it's a that Golden was, Gun. So Even though it looked like a piece really of crap. I did love <laughs> Christopher Lee. I really like well. Moonraker as well. Moonraker with Jaws and the... Jaws, yeah. 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 I really like that. I just, I love the names space. for all the guys as yeah. well. It's like Odd Job. Jaws. Odd job. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about Odd Job after Golden Eye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then another... And the N64 theme, man. If you play it, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, A View to a Kill. Was it another good one? That was the one where they had like the, the blimp and they had Grace Jones in it. That's a nice theme was... song as well. I'm not going to sing it. I might overlay it on towards this video. Give us a rendition. Nah, I need my coffee first. <laughs> <laughs> um, and my, my dad also weighed in and said that he actually likes the Timothy Dalton and George Lazen new one. I also like mm-hmm. that one. Um, yeah. it's, it doesn't get enough love that I should I think. It's too much of the ultimate. Yeah, I also want to say, I love uh, License to Kill. That's probably one of my favourite stuff because mm-hmm. that is pre- pretty much the, the early. Craig movie, he's just out there on pure vengeance. You're right. Yeah. Um, there's uh, who's the bad guy? He's played, I don't know, he's got Sanchez. He just looks so freaking intimidating and dangerous. Mm. He's just a proper villain, somebody you want to hate. So, if you go back now and watch it again, you won't be like that. Maybe we watched it when you were much younger. Nah, I think because in this one, he goes rogue. He's essentially he's been you know suspended from his service, he's gone out there to kill um, mm. this guy because he kills him, Phoenix. Mm. This timeline. Yeah. <laughs> Felix always dies. Yeah, so Felix dies. Nice. So he goes out there in that cold it's blood. It's just a code name. Yes, he goes out there in an unsanctioned hit. So it's a lot more intense and dramatic. And Benicia Del Toro is in it. So, you know, yeah. <laughs> back when he's a really yeah. young. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring us back to Kissing a Royal again. No worries. <laughs> just because I want to appreciate the film a bit more. Me, don't you? <laughs> I, I don't think you understand how good the film is. Just as a film itself, it's a very yeah. As a well film done. itself, well, it's a, fine. It's like, that's what I would say about any Daniel. Craig. In your head, Bond is just a different idea. Bond is the tone Bond of Bond should yeah. be different. That's all you think. Yeah, I think it's okay. Craig's fine. did pretty much revamp the character, so you know, yeah. you, you know, some but people the, see him as Bond, some people see him as original. You know, yeah. well, that's why I think Brosnan is a good mix because he had charm. Yeah, I and think then, I yeah. think it's such a shame with the last film. Oh, we're going to talk about the last year. Yeah, we're talk- yeah, it started sort of like... <laughs> we're going to talk about the invisible going cars. <laughs> when I saw that in the trailer, I was like... Oh, and that kite surfing on the... On the ice. CGI. <laughs> CGI. Solar beam. Water, <laughs> yes. You need a solar beam to I kill Bond. I mean, it even started going down sort of... The world is not enough yeah. as well. But like, yeah. Daniel Craig ones, I appreciate them as films. Skyfall, mm. because you are there. Um, and Spectre... Sort of. No, what? Ah, like, terrible. It wasn't terrible. It was Actually, sh- it was it was so average. I liked. Um, what was the second one? Jesus, um, Quantum, Quantum of Solace. Oh, no, more Quantum than that. Believe in water supplies. Oh, yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. No, I liked Absolute. it more. 
Because it's oh. there you had this is, one, this is why I made these features, just to argue and stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, Spectre right. was just all can be just can be you shoot bond two hundred times, Bond never gets hit by a bullet. He shoots once from three hundred meters away and gets uh, he's I, the bad I, guy I all think the time. It's it's just silly. If you're gonna diss Spectre, the one thing you diss it by is when she's like, I will not sleep with you, I will not sleep with you, you know, I'm not one of the disposable girls. Next second she's sleeping with me. Like, Thanks for doing this very character. What are you like, talking about? Swan. Her character, she's like, at the beginning, she's like, I'm not one of your floozies. What, in, in Spectre? Oh, Spectre. Yeah, like, she's the doctor girl, she's like, you know what, I'm, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not going to be one of you. Yeah. Literally, like, one, like, half, like, ten minutes later. See, I'm that's like, something what that did doesn't she see? translate. What did she see that changed her mind? I don't know, it's bad I wonder, it's bad script. Yeah. 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 But that's something that I, I was thinking about this on the way here. It doesn't translate. So when you go back and you watch the 60s one, mm. you might get a little bit uncomfortable and be like, oh, you know, he's slapping yeah. around. You take it in the right perspective. But yeah, exactly, because it's just like, and then you kind of have this realisation, it's not like that anymore, and you can see how far we've come, mm. like, at least in our society and what we see every day. And what oh, so we, you see what societal development through Yes, bond. through bond That's why you watch it. But now, like, <laughs> I was, watch, come I was watching Spectre, and he was, like, forcing himself on that, um, and, like, I think he hit her or something. The um, the widow at the beginning. Um, oh, yeah. That was weird. Yeah, that, was, that was super weird. Yeah. I mean, that Monica Bellucci? Yeah. Yeah. Like a 10 second cameo. Yeah. The whole yeah. film was just weird, but that's another story about Spectre. Yeah, exactly. Let's go back to good things. Yeah. So <laughs> you, can, you, like, you can go back and watch the old ones, and you're like, it was it was a symptom of the time. In the product of his timing, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So you can't compare them to the standards we have nowadays, because obviously it's made, oh. you know, easier. But and trust me, in 20 years' time, standards are going to be different. One interesting yeah. fact I found out when I was researching this um, you only live twice. You don't know the screenwriter was. <laughs> you know, rolled out. I'm like, I think I can make sure. Oh, he is that rolled out. I am so sick of writing children's films. Ezio Trot, The Witches, Jane and Jazzy. You only live twice. That's the last one. Spaceships eating other spaceships. And Volcano <laughs> Ninja Bases. And Volcano Ninjas. Awesome. Ninja Ninja he just went all out. Like, all the repressed <laughs> ideas I had in my head. I think about Golden Eye, what makes it better, I think, it's for our generation, I know, we're 90s kids, we must grew up the N64, so I think playing the game, the game. just, for me, I played uh, the game before I watched the film. Slaps only. <laughs> I don't think you played the actual game. So, because um, <laughs> I grew up playing the game, so when I watched the film afterwards, it just made the film even better, because it's a reference. Yeah, I, I had it the other way around. Is it? So, like, there's a bit, the bit in the game where you can, like, do the bungee and everything, mm. and it's like, it was like playing... The movie. Yeah, it was exactly. amazing. It was, it was I mean, the film itself isn't. I mean, the storyline is very okay. It's not amazing. For I just think there's got little things that make it. Don't change about the Bond story. <laughs> <laughs> they just want to see Bond. It's just Bond you know, know, obviously, you know, these things are subjective. I mean, there are things that make you like a film a bit more than you know. Yeah. So definitely. You know, one thing I do miss about Daniel Craig's portrayal of Bond. I, is that how much he, he just, so he just no matter how much he tries, I can't see him as a womanizer, and that mm. that aspect of Bond is never put light on. In the thing is, though, films. what they've done is, I, like, after a, kissing around, they kind of explain why. Actually, no, no it, it, it doesn't no. work. You know, Pierce Brosnan films, yeah. Golden Eye, it was, so it was, it was charming and swell, <laughs> and so, that's the so aspect charming. of Bond that's yeah. missing in the current films. Yes, I, I agree, Casino Royal was fantastic, and the way the portrayal was done was appropriate for that film. Mm. But later on, I wish. Yeah, because this, this is the origin Craig story. Had, okay. Yeah, so, I, mean, I wish Craig had become a bit more no, a womanizer like, in a sense, like, but a, like, a bit more charming. charming. Yeah, yeah, he just doesn't have the charm. Smooth. He's got the brutality, and you can see even Archer is a lot more charming than yeah. this guy. And so, Archer, Netflix, don't worry. Right. That's the other thing. It's like the, I don't understand why they had to go and make it like you say, brutal, like dark, yeah. brooding. For the first one, yeah. it's fine. For the remake, like to resurrect the franchise, yeah. but they kind of just ran with it. I like. I will yeah. admit that I actually haven't watched Casino Royale since it came out because. I, Since I it came out, no. yeah. you just watched it once, at least. I, just, I watched it once. Couldn't, couldn't watch it again. <laughs> you have bad taste in film. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. No, I've agree. definitely watched it ten minutes or more times. This is good. People agree, and I think it'll, it'll be boring. So no, the world yeah. would be so much a better place. Just agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shows up late. Absolutely not. Shows up late. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, that's for fifteen minutes. So we had a lot to say on that. Um, Whatever you guys think, just leave a comment or tweet what you think. And if you don't agree with this guy, it's okay. Not your weeks. So, <laughs> <laughs> so thanks. For